I am Anil Kumar and here is a question requested by my student Ellen. So Ellen, this one is finding trigonometric function from data. We have earlier seen how to find trigonometric function from graph. And this question is question number 16, page 377, as requested by you. A weight is bobbing up and down on a spring attached to a ceiling. The data in the following table give the height of the weight above the floor as it bobs. Determine the sine function that models this situation. So as we saw earlier, to find the sine function from the data, graph is also a data, what we need to do is we need to find the maximum value, right? We need to find the minimum value. Once we find maximum and minimum value, we can actually find axis and amplitude, right? So let's start by analyzing the data and finding maximum and minimum value. Now in the first column, we are given uh, time 00, 0 and height is 120. Now as the time increases, height increases and then falls down. So we have a maximum here of 180 and it falls down to 120 so 120 is a minimum value so that means it starts with the minimum value right and then it again starts increasing so the height becomes 179 which is kind of close to 180 so that becomes the maximum value right so these are the values which can help us to find all the parameters required for a sine function so let us see how. So as seen from the data, maximum value is 180 and the minimum value is 120, correct? Now from here, we can write A, the amplitude, is difference of these two divided by 2, right? So it is 180 minus 120 divided by 2 and that is 60 divided by 2 as 30. The axis, so let me first write down the equation so that, you know, we know which parameters we are trying to fill in. So let me write sine function as f of x equals to a times sine of k x minus p plus q, right? So we have already found a, now we will try to find q, the axis x is the average value that means maximum plus minimum divide by 2 right so maximum is 180 minimum is 120 we'll add them up maximum plus minimum divide by 2 right so you can also use your calculator and find the value so 0 plus 0 is 0 2 plus 8 is 10 1 so it is 300 divided by 2 which is 150 so q is 150 now we need to find k. To find k, we need to find the time period. So let's find what is the value of t, the time period. Time period is distance or time between two minimums or two maximums, right? So as we can see, this difference between two minimum occurs at time equals to 1.2 and 0, 0. So time period is 1.2 minus 0, 0.0 which is 1.2 seconds now once we know time period we can find the value of k which is 2 pi divided by the time period so which is 2 pi divided by 1.2 now my recommendation is always write this answer in fractions you should not have denominator as a decimal number it's not a good practice correct so let's convert it into fraction. Now 2 divided by 1.2 uh, could be, let me show you one simple way of doing it. You can always use calculator. It is like 12 divided by 10. Do you see that? So which I could write as 2 pi and then we have 12 and 10 goes in the numerator, right? So which we can simplify. It is 20 divided by 12 both can be divided by 4 
So 4 times 5 is 20 and 4 times 3 is 12. So k is 5 pi by 3. So that's how you can get k value. Now let us try to find what is phase shift p. Now for phase shift we need to see where is the so for a sine wave we have to see on the axis axis is where axis is 150 so on the axis where does the graph starts so that gives you the value of p that is one way of finding p now other thing is that in your sine wave let me let me just show you here so what we have here is our wave starting with the minimum and then going up. So let me sketch this wave approximately and then I'll make you understand how to find the phase shift. So the wave is kind of like this where it begins with with a minimum, right? So that is how it begins with. So this value minimum is is 120 and the maximum here is 180 so this is 180 this is 120 and the time between these two is 1.2 right from one minimum to the other it is 1.2 that is the time correct now the sine wave is starting right in the middle the axis here is let me write down show this axis here axis is this correct so the sine wave starts from here now what is that point this point is always let's say t is the time period this is half of t right this is t over 2 that point is t by 4 is one quarter of the time period do you see that part so the sine wave actually starts after quarter of the cycle. Now time period is 1.2. One quarter of time period will be P. So P could be equals to T over 4, which is 1.2 divided by 4. Do you see that? So that is the time period, which is equals to 0 0.3. So P is 0 0.3 for us. So that is one way of finding. The other way to find time period is that in your given expression, write down 0 for x, 120 for f of x, and then calculate for p. That way is also you'll get your answer, which will be 0.3. Okay, now, so, but this is a fast way of doing it, straight from the graph, I mean approximately from the data. So now, knowing all this, we can write down our function, which is f of x is equals to the amplitude, which is 30, sine of, since we want a sine wave, the k value for us is 5 pi by 3, I should have written t, because t is the value h of t let me write instead of f of x let's write h of t as our function t is our independent variable and height with reference to time is the y value so t minus it since it starts quarter of the cycle 0 0.3 and q is 150 plus 150 so that becomes the required sine wave from the data right so as an added exercise I will suggest what you should do is you should actually use this equation that is to say use these two points which is 0 for x and 120 so I'll say 120 equals to 30 sine 5 pi by 3 now t is 0 for us right so minus P plus 150. Now use this equation to find the value of P. 
correct so what you will do is take away 150 from 120 divide by 30 find sine inverse equate that to 5 pi by 3 minus p and from there get the value of p you will get the same answer right so that is how you can actually find algebraically since i am running out of my space i find this method very convenient and useful remember this that if you have a wave like this then at the quarter of the cycle those are your key values the sine wave starting as you can see so you can find quarter of that cycle well at times you can also expand this and write it down but i prefer writing it in this fashion since time scale is given to us in decimal values right so it makes more sense and as you can see right there we have 0 0.3 right 0 0.3 and 150 value the average value fits in properly so that shows that your equation is perfectly fine i hope that helps thank you and all the best